What's going on guys, Bows Phoenix here, and it's Thursday, which means it's Warrior's Den recap day, and aside from a bunch of filler, we actually got some pretty cool news I want to talk about with you guys, so let's go ahead and jump in. First up, the big deal, ranked mode in the public test realm, or PTR as I'm going to refer to it from here on out. It opens up on June 29th, which is next Thursday, so at the time of this video, it is seven days from today until you can experience that. Now, this will be a beta feature, so things might be a bit wonky, although the good news is, from what they are saying, all your character progression, save data, and everything else will carry over to the PTR when you play ranked mode, so all of your heroes will be unlocked, you'll have your cosmetics, and all that stuff. Now, I'm not sure if they mentioned this, but I'm pretty sure your tournament results won't carry over from the PTR to the actual game though. Anyway, the tournament mode in the PTR will be open to everyone. They'll probably just have us download a beta client of the game through Uplay or something and we'll use that to experience the content. As for how it'll work, it's currently set up for only duels. This, for me, is my worst nightmare. I hate duels, I'm terrible at them, I don't find them fun at all, and winning them isn't even satisfying to me. I really wish they were doing brawls so you could at least climb the ladder with a teammate. But that being said, this is probably the best and most stable way for them to test this new feature, and I really hope it gets a lot of traffic. The good news here, though, is that there isn't an NDA on the features. I'll be able to cover this stuff for you guys, and we'll learn it all together. As for the ranking system, though, you'll have to complete a whopping 20 qualification matches before you're placed into one of five tiers, which are bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Going further still, there are five divisions within those tiers, which are just numbered Roman numerals from one to five. From what they were saying, each match you win gives you a little experience, and when it fills, you go on to the next division, and when you get that division, you go on to the next tier. So overall, I'm really excited about all this. I've been waiting for a ranked mode since the game released, but to be totally honest with you guys, I've got a few concerns. Firstly, I don't feel like the game is in a state of balance to where this would be fair. There's 14 characters in the game right now, and I know that people are only going to use the top 5, which means get ready to fight tons of Wardens and Turtle Master Conks and Warlords. Secondly, and this one is a bit of a double-edged sword, in an effort to enforce fair matchmaking, they're letting go of the Nat type restriction. This means that a player with a green Nat type could be matched with a player that has a red Nat type. The good thing about this is that it opens up the player pool because, as we know, we're kind of lacking in that department at the moment. The bad thing, though, is it might be unstable as all hell. In short, prepare to resync a bunch. Thirdly, this might divide the player base further. I'm really excited for competitive versions of the game modes we have now, but I have a feeling that people are going to get frustrated at the lack of balance in a competitive scenario and just avoid the competitive system altogether. In a perfect world though, ranked mode would bring back a bunch of players that are interested in this sort of thing, which would breathe a ton of life back into the game, so here's to hoping. Moving on from all that though, the other thing they talked about that I thought was important is that they're working on balancing Centurion and 4v4. How they're going to do that exactly, I've got no idea, but Roman did mention that they're working on nerfing the tracking on his punch, which, honestly, the punch is annoying, but he can still kick, pin, and do a bunch of other stuff, and when you're getting ganked by two or more of these guys, it's just that much worse. So, we'll see what they come up with. There's apparently some patches coming down the line here soon that's going to deal with a lot of this stuff. But anyway... That's all I've got for today, folks. As I find out more about the competitive mode and anything else, you can count on me to keep you updated on it. That being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you're new here, get subscribed for more videos like this one. And join my Discord server if you haven't already. Until next time, though, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching.